Now that we created our virtual machines, it's a really good idea to take snapshots of them. A snapshot allows you to store the state of the current virtual machine. So it allows you to go back in time or go forward to a certain state after you go back. So you can think of it as bookmarks. For example, now we can take snapshots of our fresh installation of the operating systems and in the future, if we update or configure something or, or break something, you can literally just go back to the fresh install or go back to factory settings if you want to call it. Then, if you did something there and then you wanted to go back to your updated system, then you can go back to the updated system as well. So you can literally take a snapshot whenever you want to store the state of the machine and then you can go back and forth between these states. Now I'll show you how to do that. I have Kali Linux right here, the one that we installed, and it's very easy to create a snapshot for it. All you have to do is just go on the snapshots here and click on the camera icon. Then it's going to ask you to call this snapshot something, so I'm just going to call it fresh install. And I'm just going to give it a description saying it's a fresh snapshot with no updates. It's always a good idea to give a good name and good description so that in the future you can actually remember what the snapshots stand for. So now that I'm done, I'm just going to click on OK. And now you can see that we have the current state, so whatever you do in here, you can update, you can install programs, you can install libraries and then if you break something or if you ever wanted to go back to the fresh install you can just come back and click on the fresh install and restore. So let's see now, I'm just gonna go back to the details as normal and then we're gonna start our virtual machine. I'll just show you an example now. So let me just create a new directory in here so let's imagine that you actually updated the system now in the future we're going to talk about updating the system and I'm going to tell you that when you update there is a good chance that some libraries some programs will not be as up to date as the libraries that will be installed and then these programs might, might start giving you issues now if you had the issues you can put them into discussion and I'll help you with them but some cases I'll tell you that you need to go back or downgrade to the older version without the update so all you'll have to do is just get back to the fresh installation to your fresh snapshot so now I've just created a new file just to show you that once you actually go back everything will go back to the way it was before the changes that you made so I'm just gonna turn off Kali and now if we go back to the snapshots you'll see that we have our current state this state have been changed so it's a changed state now let's say that you updated and the update was successful so nothing was broken and you are happy with it so what you should do is you should just come in and click on the camera icon again to create another snapshot and we're gonna call this one updated system and then you can just put the date if you want to and then I'm just gonna put the description updated with no problems so I'm gonna click OK and you can see that we have two snapshots. We have the first one, which is our fresh install. And then we updated our system and we have an updated snapshot of an updated system. So now let's say that after you updated and you thought everything is okay, you are using the machine and you have problems. So you wanted to go back to the fresh installation. All you have to do is just click on the fresh install. And you can see that the restore icon right here, just click that. And now it restored me to the fresh installation. So now if I start the Kali machine, you'll see that the new directory that we created will disappear. Now as you can see, we're back to where we were without the new directory, without anything. So we are actually back to the fresh installation of Kali, to when we actually took the snapshot. So now I'm going to show you another example. So let's say you went back in time and you went back to your fresh installation and then for some reason, you wanted to go back to your updated state to see if you can fix the issue, if I suggested the solution, or if you read the solution online and you want to go back and fix the issue that you had after the update. Or for any other reason, maybe you just wanted to go back to a different state, it wasn't an updated state, I'm just giving an example with the update. So if you want to go back to a future state, you can still do that. So all you have to do is just again, click on the updated, click on the restore, 
and we don't want to create a new snapshot from the current state because the current state is the updated state so we're gonna restore this start the machine and you'll see that we'll be back to the updated state to where we had the new directory created so we're actually gonna go back in the future now and as you can see now we have our test directory so we're back to the state where we updated the system so again as you can see the snapshots can be really useful they can allow you to store bookmarks or states of the operating system so you can actually have different configurations and you can switch between them as you want.